Hey guys, uh, this is gonna kind of be part two of the uh, video I made yesterday uh, about the uh, internet privacy and the uh, current bill that was just passed on ISPs. And um, uh, this video I'm gonna be going more into depth on like the whole bill and everything. Uh, my other video I was just kind of speculating on what I was uh, basically just you know talk just just basically speculating about the whole situation and. Um, Today I'm going to get more into that, more into depth of it, and uh, what I did is I got uh, basically just snippets of like the whole thing that's going on, and uh, we're gonna, I'm going to go through them and just read them and kind of explain them. So probably like, you know, your que the first question that everyone was asking, I asked myself this, how, was I, how am I supposed to protect myself against like, you know, the uh, like our ISP spying on the us and everything but I'm gonna get into that in a second it's another one I uh took a snippet of okay so uh yeah so this one all right so it says many internet service providers have privacy policies that may cover this type of information if an ISP shares or sells an individual personal information and violations of its own privacy policy a state attorney general could take the company to court said Travis LeBlanc a former enforcement bureau chief at the Federal Commission's Communications Commissions. So what that mean is basically that if if any if any it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if this bill is passed or not. If anyone sells your personal information to anybody, now as far as uh I, as like selling your browser history, like seeing what you're watching and stuff, they're not selling stuff that can be you know that could do like like could be how could I say it, it it's not gonna be detrimental to you it's not gonna it's not gonna basically it's, if it's any information that significant that can significantly identify you is personal information so that's what they can't sell the only thing they can sell is basically what websites you're going to so like if you go to like YouTube or Google or they can only they can only do that. They can show the web pages, but they can't show personal information. Now, what that means is that they the, what they can do they can sell, but it's basically they're they're selling companies the surface of what you're doing. They only sell they're only selling um like uh just basically just the websites you're you're going to. You're not doing they're not selling anything else besides that. No personal information. Like if you go to Netflix, they're only saying they're only selling that you're going to Netflix. That's it. They can't if they sell anything else than uh, anything that's personal information. Uh, you could take them to court and um, they would be like sued pretty badly. And as far as uh, the whole like you know personal information goes, it's it's kind of it's it's unrealistic. Uh, we'll get more to that, but um, the state attorney general could also sue ISPs whose data practices could be construed as unfair to other businesses. And meanwhile, the chairman of the Federal Communications Commission has said what's left of the agency privacy authority still allows him to bring lawsuits against companies. He just won't be able to write rules that look similar to Congress rejected this week. Now, what that just basically meant was that the ISPs just can't sell your information. They can't. Because if that was the case, then you know it'd be a pretty bad day for people. Now, what I, uh, what a lot of people are probably, well, for me, from my understanding, a lot of people are probably just getting the wrong idea. If ISP is selling your information, um, personal information, it's a, uh, you know, they they've always. Let's get something straight. So ISPs have always had the power to do this. Everything that you do goes through their, goes through their. Like I, I would say they're, they're servers. Now the uh, what it is like how it works is that you have the internet. The internet is basically everyone's server together, and that creates a network of servers, which is called the internet. So basically, it's the internet. Then it's the ISP, which basically monitors what sites you go to, and then there's you. What you're trying to do is you're trying to access a website, but you can't access another website without an ISP. 
So basically, they have the ability to see which websites you're going to. They have the ability to see what you're doing. But in all honesty, they can't. They they wouldn't be able to sell it because it's just not. It's not fair use, basically. If if they were to sell any personal information that could significantly identify you, then they would be pretty much put in prison or sued. Let's go to the next one. So this one says, without these rules, could I really go to an internet provider and buy a person's browsing history? You can't. You just really can't. It's not possible. Just like I said before, even if it, it's possible, but the company wouldn't, the company would not uh, allow such a thing because if that was to happen, if the person who you got the, uh, say if you say yourself you were uh, uh, wanted to buy John Doe's uh, uh, browsing history, if John Doe found out that you brought his browsing history, and the company let it. You would be sued, and the company would be sued, and basically that company would be out of business. And so the ISPs would not would not risk such a thing. Now before ISPs did this before, let's let's get something completely straight, and they kind of do it now. You know, with uh, the ads and everything that's on different websites and everything, they're basically giving companies information to basically market things to you now a lot of people know a lot of people just think you know oh they're not they're not doing that i'm not saying that they're not like you know they're not selling your information or everything i don't know what they're doing as far as i'm concerned they shouldn't be doing anything of the sort whatsoever so basically what they're doing is selling your browsing his not browsing history but just the sites that you're going to and the ability to buy it, um, it's possible. But if they were to do that, they'd be out of business, and they'd be, they'd be uh, issued a hefty fine. So let's go to the next one. So this one uh, it says the vote by the U.S. Congress to repeal rule that limits how internet services providers can use customer data has generated renewed interest in an in old internet technology, virtual private networks. VPNs now probably in the next couple of months months next to a couple of years VPNs are going to be used widely a lot now this this is going to be the basically like everything that everyone is going to be using for me I already I use VPN I use a VPN on my phone all the time no matter what I don't want people uh, you know sniffing my data or whatever so uh, basically VPNs are they cloak the customer's web surfing history by making an encrypted connection to a private server which then searches the web on the customer's behalf without revealing the destination address. Now this is the uh, this is probably going to be the in the next couple months Tor, VPN, SOX proxies and proxy servers and all that stuff is going to be used probably a lot. You like what it does is think of it as like a think of a VPN as in the all right so say there's the internet and then there's you there's your ISP and then there's your VPN now before was I saying you wanted to if you want to correct connect to the to a website you have to connect directly through the web through the ISP to the web through the web server or whatever server you want to connect to but in this case what you're doing is now it's you you're first connecting to the VPN which is connected to the internet and it's basically rerouting you it's basically taking you around uh, the the ISP so they can't see what you're doing I mean they may be able to see that you're they may be able to see that it's your IP address or it's your network but they they won't be able to know what you're doing and at all so now if you wanted to make it so that they wouldn't be able to see that your router what's your route what's coming in and out of your router at all that's a whole different thing like uh, I know there's a uh, there's a tool I spoke about this yesterday in yesterday's video uh, there's a tool or there's a router on the hack 5 websites it's called the Wi-Fi pineapple and it basically it's a router that lets you connect to Wi-Fi and it also lets you uh, connect through a proxy so what you would do you would connect 
uh, the Wi-Fi pineapple to your router and uh, kind of configure it so it, it would like like how would I how would I say it instead of uh, you would connect the Wi-Fi pineapple to your uh, router and then that Wi-Fi pineapple would then have access to the internet then you would connect through the Wi-Fi pineapple and then you would uh, make it make the Wi-Fi pineapple proxy through proxy or put a VPN on it or socks or whatever it is and put it through a uh, a proxy or VPN and then now anything that goes in or out of that um, uh, Wi-Fi pineapple is encrypted and they can't see it so they may be able to see the router but they don't know what's coming in or out of the router so if you wanted everyone on your network to connect through the Wi-Fi pineapple and make it so that no one is able to see what you're doing then that's what you would do is you would connect through that like that uh, the other part that says privacy consensus techies are now talking of using VPNs as a matter of course to guard against broadband providers collecting data without with inter connecting collecting data about which internet sites and services they're using like I said before it's uh you, they're just they're able to see what your what websites you're going to they won't be able to see any information personal information that can significantly identify you that's what personal information is so let's go to the next one now uh, and uh, uh, Threatwire on uh, if you you could actually go to their I'll leave a link in the description they actually uh, it's Hack Five they, they have this uh, YouTube channel with Threatwire and they talk about um, you know techie stuff and whatever and so how you protect yourself um, the easiest way to protect yourself is just use a VPN a proxy or Tor now if if you're wondering what Tor is it's basically a SOX proxy it's it's, it's encrypted. So, uh, you know, that's basically what it is. If you ever use Tor on uh, Kali Linux uh, or Linux in general, that's basically you're able. If you use Tor on Linux, if you like, uh, you know, use that, it's you would know that it's a SOX proxy. But I'm um, not going to get into that. I have another video of that. I'll leave that link in that in the description. But um, basically, if you want any website that has HTTPS, that's encrypted it's it's encrypted and you know even the it's uh, some of the ISP may not be able to see some of the things that you're doing but most of it they can but still tr like you know for like redundancy redundancy sake you know use a VPN or Tor and uh, you know if you're ever using Tor on Windows don't because that's a good way for you to get compromised so uh because uh if you're wondering uh windows uh that's uh on tor that's uh windows is one of the most widely used operating systems in the world so you know a lot of the exploits or hacks are going to be towards windows machines so you would actually want to use something like a virtual machine with linux on it and you and use it like that so just that's basically how it is and now with the whole like you know with just t like talking about this and everything um, in honesty, you know, it's not going to be really, it's the, the like, ISP, this shouldn't be, like, you know, spying on you or, like, you know, selling companies anything about you whatsoever, because it's, it's just not right. It's fucked up. But, um, you know, just to stay safe, always use a VPN. If, uh, if Trump or our president decide to, you know, approve this so-called bill to me it's a death sentence but you know if he decides to approve it you know start using VPNs more it's more of a, a safer way to connect through the internet proxies uh, uh, VPN socks you know whatever it is Tor um, there's another way of doing that if you want to come if you don't want people spying on you completely you can use uh, tails OS uh, I've never used it personally but you can uh, you can use it um, but yeah you know just stay safe on the internet guys uh, but uh, thanks for watching the video and um, you know it means a lot to me if you want to see more videos like this, you know, just talking about things or talking about what's going on in the world or whatever, you know, please comment down below. Or if you want to hear something completely different, please comment down below the video you would like to see. 
and uh, I'll try my best to, you know, try to make that video. Uh, with that all being said, love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.